anyone is interested on that if anyone wants to see how to install using ini how to install using command where you can go to my channel and you can watch those videos guys we'll get a lot of stuff here in our channel so again it's not mandatory no way that's what i'm saying sudhinder no need to learn all these things these are the extra cheese if you want you can learn otherwise no one will ask you okay their main aim is make sure you install sql server properly or not that's it how you are going to install they don't tell you that's your wish whether you want to install command 99 percentage gui only 99 100 percentage will install gui only these other ways and all sometimes might help you okay in the organization but 99 percentage will use gui based installation only guys okay so you can go to the channel and you can see in case if you if you want to see how to install other modes of installation guys okay so three years back i just installed those things okay i just created videos on these things any questions any doubts it will take 10 minutes to complete the installation if you have any questions in the meantime you can ask otherwise we are good to close you can wait and you can see till the end of the installation and uh, i'll be in mute if anyone wants to go to office uh, you can drop uh, one question sir yes please so harminder here yeah, sir uh, can you just show the path uh, for the software once uh, like uh, you download it from the path and just show me the uh, path once again sir which path harminder uh, the software the sql server where you have put that uh, sql server to attaching uh, software huh? yeah yes yes okay go to oracle virtual box manager go to the machine setting so actually they actually they are on the on, on the physical machine uh, which you have correct correct this is, these softwares are downloaded into my laptop physically okay, okay. i am ready right, with the softwares right. that's what if you go to storage if you see here sir uh, my sir is getting a lot of softwares here i am not getting anything why either i just downloaded that's why and i am using this setup since years so that's why it just recognized the uh, existing paths and all for you it won't show you anything it will show you simply these two options you have to click choose virtual disk optical file to which folder you it will be open my computer will open to which folder okay you downloaded your software go to that folder imagine you downloaded your software to the download again i am saying you guys once you downloaded the software please make it once you downloaded the softwares uh, keep in a separate folder keep it in a separate drive so that you can easily go and search every time if you just keep it in separate location and all it will be confused so once you downloaded go to the downloaded folder there you can see all the softwares select which software you want to attach and click ok automatically you can attach that software ok Arbinder, fine right sir right sir so it, it just create that particular drive for that yeah? correct correct it won't create anything in which drive you just downloaded you have to go to that drive yeah yeah sure, sure. it just connect attach correct. that particular correct. Correct. like while uploading the files and all you will go to the path and you will you will select your file right the same way uh, right yes sir yes sir, sir should this uh, sa account need to be windows or sql type i'll explain you in the authentication security class so then there okay i'll explain you during the security class okay girls anything you can any, any questions are there you can ask otherwise you can wait until this is completed it won't take much sir, time uh, take about the installation time. sir yes please sir regarding the installation is this the like activity happening on on a weekly basis or no no, 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 no. Uh, very good question so it's not weekly basis daily basis might be they need if it is a very big setup if it is a very big company you are working for multiple clients they will request to install the sql server it can be a weekly it can be a monthly it can be a yearly okay it depends it depends when they are requesting based on that you have to go for installation but it's not a daily activity okay whenever there is a need they will ask us they will raise a request so once they raise the request then we can proceed to install right, sir. any questions guys no sir okay normally we use a gui only uh, 900 percent in the organization 200 percent will use gui only 
But the first time it will take a little bit time guys why because it has to install specific components and shared components right so next time it won't take this much time in five minutes it will be installed why because only for the first time shared components are going to be installed next time only specific yes. components will be installed so next time it will take less time okay first time it will take 10 to 15 minutes So do we keep all SQL servers automatic or man? automatic is within there not manual it should be automatic if manual again if any windows people are restarted the windows machine again you have to go and start the SQL server which is not good 99% will try to automate the things okay to 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 decrease the burden and all one more question sir if any any interruption happened in between so do we need to do this all the procedures again now if it is failed you have to do the again same from the beginning again you have to go for the installation right yes prasad that's it for today if anyone wants to leave you can leave it if you want to see till the end of the installation you can see if if you are in urgency you can you can leave it yeah okay sir thank you yeah, no problem SSMS is separate. I'll tell you about SSMS, Sudindra. Tomorrow. Now we just install SQL Server, guys. Okay. So there should be one tool to connect to the SQL Server. That tool is called SSMS. So I have to install that SSMS separately. After SQL Server installation, we have to install SSMS separately. How to install it? It's very easy. Just you have to click on install button. That's it. Automatically it will be installed. So tomorrow I'll show you. Then we can connect to the SQL Server. Tomorrow, once SSMS is installed, then only we can connect to the SQL Server. That is a front end to connect to the correct. Server. Yes, yes, that is a gateway. It's almost done, guys. Gajanan, it was uploaded, but uh, by mistake, uh, it was not added into the playlist. Uh, it was uploaded, Gajanan. Might be it was not uh, added to the playlist. Let me check 10, 11, 12, right? You are saying videos. 
okay so let me go to this batch 43 okay class 1 class 2 class 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 okay all the videos are uploaded but might be i miss it to add uh, 10 11 12 to the playlist that's why you can see it. let me check here with you. please mute it guys no all are added to the playlist i don't know how it was missed from your side 16 17 18 15 14 13 okay 10 11 12 is not added to playlist okay chalo guys i am going to add it okay today i'll add it but you can you can still watch it guys it's not pending okay videos are uploaded but not added to the playlist that's it okay you can still go to the video section and you can watch those videos okay you can see here 10 11 12 Please mute it. Mute, 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 mute. Okay, done. Sir, do we manage SQL services via Windows Server Manager or SQL Server Configuration Manager? Which is better, sir? Lot of things you have to learn, Sudhendra. Then you can came to know which is better. Okay. Uh, yes, Gajanan. Okay, you can watch the videos and let me go to the server. Okay, so almost done, guys. You will get a final screen. I'll show you. Once all the components are installed successfully, you will get a success message, guys. Uh, you have to verify whether all components are successfully installed or not. Right, done. After installation, it is saying, see here, one or more affected files have operations pending. Operations pending means restart pending. You must restart your computer after the setup process is completed. It is saying after installation, you have to restart the server. Okay, that's it, guys. You can see all the components green checks. It should it should come with a green check marks, guys. Okay, if anything is failed, you can see red, uh, red cross button. Okay. So now you don't see any red cross button. You can see all succeeded messages, guys. So all the components are successfully installed. Click OK and verify whether all components are successfully installed or not. Okay, just verify like this. All components are successfully. And you can see the final message installation successful. Okay, here you can see. That's it, guys. Okay, remain things. Tomorrow we'll connect at 7 a.m. and we'll discuss. Okay, thank you, guys.